Hey, welcome to another episode of Pyrotechnic Plays. Nocturne fucking Rebirth. Now, I know I've been gone. I've been, I've been busy working. <clears throat> My boy, he needs all the love. But it's, it's been good, and I, I felt bad for not making videos. But I had some time today. I took some time off work, and it didn't, what I had to do, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. So here we are, this wonderful, fabulous day. Now, normally I live stream this, uh, but I couldn't get it to work, so I'm just going to record it and upload it later. I just like accidentally already started the... Just, let's just jump right in it, shall we? Oh god. Strange. I have a feeling I'm forgetting something very important. Since when? Since when have I stopped becoming aware of my surroundings? I can't sense exactly what it is. It's bothering me. Luna Winston. She's a girl whom I met on the outskirts of this village. And now, while she has inherited my power, she's the same as always. She's nothing more than a normal village girl. Roshul Hannibal. From the looks of that sword with his name engraved on it, he's most likely a considerably skilled sword blacksmith. But, that's all there is to him. He might once have been an excellent swordsman, but he doesn't appear to be one who would mess with others. Edith Midwin. She's a strong vampire slayer. She can be considered one of the greatest swords persons who boast exceptional skills and a strong force of will. But her meeting with me was nothing more than a coincidence. Besides, I doubt she excels in magic. We're still Eva Mizance. Both her magical and physical spill skills are no doubt of a different level altogether. And above all, she has an extremely annoying, unique ability to create an existence out of nothing. However, her only motive is to surpass me. She wants to utterly defeat the perfect me by her own strength. While she would provoke me in order to incite me to fight, she would never seal my power. That's her typical behavior, which I've long perceived. <clears throat> why... Why do I feel an adrenaline rush at this time? The physical space is distorting? A devil? I'm right into it. Oh, fuck. I... Oh god, bug frag's already yelling at me. He's like, you didn't prepare! There weren't any traces of devils hiding in his village. So why is there a devil here now? Don't tell me. A wormhole has been formed? This is bad. I have to quickly close it. This is no time to be playing around with this monster. Alright. Well, you know. Seems like this devil has reached a dead end. What? Listen. Stop. I'm gonna make you scream. Are you stunned? Look at him over there. He can't believe this shit. He's like, what the fuck? Don't touch me, bro. Told him not to touch me. He touched me anyway. Whoa, whoa! They're everywhere. M Mr. Reviel! It's Reviel. Ah, uh, sorry. Wait, that's not the issue here. What's going on all of a sudden? I'm getting a terrible feeling. It's a raid. Huh? 
It has begun. The village is on fire. Here they come. Prepare yourself. Uh. Uh. What? This is no time to get flustered. They'll come at us again. Can you fight? Y yes. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten the feeling of mana. I could still fight. Well, let's do it then. God, your fucking shit needs to recharge. Nice, got him out of a super. And that got him out of the screen. Okay. Shadow Ripper. Probably shouldn't have wasted that attack on him. Okay. Um. Um. He's the devil, so. Right, 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 maybe? Meteor Drive. Come on. Come on. Mystic Fire. You can probably finish the devil with the high blast. Yes. Yes. One victim. Village is still on fire. What? What was that monster? It's a devil. Huh? Devils were originally called ancient viruses. They originate from a wormhole. And as their old name suggests, even though they likely didn't have the intention to attack this village, they can't be stopped anyway. Their acts can't be compared to mine. These monsters won't stop until they burn the whole village and kill everyone here. What? Luna, what's going on? Are you alright? Father! Mother! Now's not the time to be having a casual talk! Uh, why is this happening? Luna, hurry up and gather all the villagers to a safe place. Huh? You wish to help, right? I'll drive all the monsters away, now go! Reviel! I understand. Leave it to me. Father! Mother! We'll talk later! Let's head to the village chief's house. That place looks to be the only place safe from the fire. Reviel, I'll be gathering everyone there. Uh, Alright, I don't know what's going on, but we trust you, Luna. Now then, I'll show you monsters just who you're picking a fight with. Please. I mean, I guess. Listen, I don't have time for this. As if your attacks even hurt and hurted me. As if your attacks even hurt. I've had enough of the streaming of the past. You devils should just rest in peace. Stop! I said stop! At this rate, my father and my house is going to... <laughs> Mr. Reviel! Fall back. I'll take care of this at once. I'm ready. So, I kind of had a feeling. Yeah. I figured you wouldn't like that. So I also tagged this along with it. Yeah? It's cool. Time for the finisher. And you. I impressive. Hurry up. And head to the village, Chief's house. <laughs> huh? Luna's gathering everyone there. It's the safest place in this village right now. Well, I didn't buy any potions. But but what about you, Mr. Revia? I still have some things I need to settle. Don't worry too much, and just head there first. Uh. Alright, I believe in you. Here. These may not be much, but just take them. Oh my god, this fight must be horrible. The 
believe in me, huh? How foolish her to think of me in that way. But I wonder why I don't feel like laughing her off like I did to the others before. Well, no matter. I'll look around the village for now. There are, after all, still a lot of devils crowding around this village. Let's do this! Quad! Keisha! Margus, you alright? This damn tiring. To be honest, I think the three of us would be struggling like this. I don't get how this quiet village is suddenly attacked by devils. What? Four more have appeared. This is probably just a little too much for us to handle. Has my luck finally run out? Huh? If it's you three against one devil, you'll be able to manage somehow, won't you? But what are you saying? This means you'll have to take on the other two devils. Are you serious? Well, even then, I wonder if you can even take down one devil. Yeah, <laughs> you sure are confident. Quad, Keisha, let's focus on this one. Very well. We'll believe in that guy. Whoops a daz. I am. So why fire would attack them both? However, they're fucking me that I would do it. Matter of fact, you're probably weak now. Oh yeah, you think you can compete with me? Come on. You. Come on, one more, one more, one more real quick. Something tells me to start charging my attacks. Phew, that's a relief. Who in the world are you? Quad, this isn't the time to pry into one's affairs. Our priority now is taking out the devils. Without proper strategies, we would certainly be able to defeat them, even if it means defeating them one at a time. No. You guys take cover in the village chief's house north of here. Hey, I know you're strong, but that doesn't mean you can look down on us. This is... only the beginning. Much stronger devils are going to appear from here on out. You... you gotta be kidding! <sighs> so you're saying we're not good enough to take the spotlight here, huh? All right then, we'll follow your advice. Margus, you saw it yourself, right, Quad? This guy's the real deal. This, at any rate, a little too much for her. It's a little too much for us to handle. We should just do what we're capable of. Yes, I agree with Margus. Then we'll take cover at the house, you said. We can at least do our part to protect that place, yeah? Your quick understanding is appreciated. We owe you one. Let's go, everyone. I'm gonna touch that crystal. Now then, I'm touching the crystal. Thought everything froze for a second. I'm like, oh god. This might be the last time I do it, okay? Just let me just do this, all right? I've waited months for this, okay? All right. Ugh. I didn't summon familiars. Fuck. Miss! Ugh. I have to at least protect these children! No, wait. I have to at least protect these children! You! Ugh. This monster is of a different caliber from the previous ones. Alright. I can't fuck around with them then. I wasn't a strong enough attack. So not strong enough. Fuck the meteor drive was the one. Or is it dead end? Please let me get the shadow ripper it is then. I didn't delay shit! That was weak as fuck. Come on man. What you got? It's fucking right. Son of a bitch. Awesome! Are, 
Are you alright, miss? Those monsters were no joke. Miss, let's escape quickly. Hi. I need some rest, you children. I should go ahead first. But no, let's go together. No, you shouldn't be disobedient. I'll be fine. I'll be sure to catch up with you after some rest. Uh, no. Promise us, okay? Promise us that you'll catch up with us. You. I know. Given this injury, I won't hold out any longer. Why? Why do you all have to act so strong, even in the face of a crisis? I... Please. Mr. Reviel. Please protect those children. And this village. Protect. You're asking me to protect this village with these two hands of mine? Reviel! Almost everyone has already taken cover. All that's left are the children and Miss Dinah. The, ch ch the two children have already gone ahead to the village chief's house. As for the guard. Please move aside. You'll be fine. I'll be sure to treat you. By the arms and guidance of Panacea. Grant this lady your grand blessings right here and now. Mm. Luna? Are you feeling better, Miss Dina? The children. They've gone to take cover at the village chief's house. Thanks to you, none of them are hurt. I see. Thank God. You should take cover as well, Miss Dinah. We'll hold back these monsters here. In that case, sorry for the trouble. I'm counting on both of you, Luna and Raviel. Luna, I don't have familiars, so we'll have to make do. It's okay! I can do it! Come on. Fuck yeah. Get him. Finish him. Oh. Come on. Well, you asked for it. He asked for it. Alright. Mr. Evial? These two hands of mine. There's no way they can ever be cleaned. After all, I remember my hands having already been permanently stained. With the blood of thousands of beings. At least I know that much. This aura! Raviel? Ah! We're still? It can't be! Why would she be here? No. It's different. Huh? This aura is not hers. But, but such a strong mana can only be long to miss her still. No. I believe there's just one individual whose mana is about as strong as hers. There's so many of them. It wasn't as many as before. I need to summon familiars. Who on earth are you, old man? <laughs> You're much younger than me, so I don't expect you to fall here. Madak, let's take a quick break. Oh, Rosh, that sword. Why aren't you using it at this time of crisis? Well, 
Don't tell me you still can't get over what happened eight years ago. Yeah, I just can't. No matter how many years it's been, there's just no way I can get over it. Why, you... Madoc, behind you! What just happened? Curse these monsters! How dare they create havoc in this village however they like! Even the patience of me, a kind-hearted person, has a limit, right? I'll make sure they get a taste of these paralysis orbs worth a thousand mel each, even if it means wasting them. Extravagance is no doubt the pride of a merchant! Never mess with a merchant, damn beast! Well, this is a pleasant surprise, Miss Cutie. I'll fight too. That's absurd, Cutie. There's no way you can fight without having received any form of training. I love this village. I really do. That's why I can't just sit back and watch this village burn! After all, I... No, it's not just me. I'm pretty sure everyone here is readily prepared to risk his or her life to protect this village. There's a difference between risking your life and throwing your life away. You stubborn man. I had seen far too many people die. This feeling. Oh no. That's a fat one. Ugh. Roche. Right. My spear. What is with this devil? You've got to be kidding me. This monster's an elite like any other. My arm didn't work? Rush, you ignorant brat! Why did you take up a sword in the first place? Why did you even bother trading hard? Madoc! Are you planning to lose everything again? So what if you lost your left arm protecting your wife? So what if your daughter died by the sword forged by you? These are merely excuses! I, for one, will never cast my sword away. Even if I were to be ridiculed for being a murderer and even in death, I'll never abandon my sword! Good grief. You and your habit of lecturing people. Old habits sure die hard, don't they? This enemy is certainly familiar. How nostalgic. And to think I have sacrificed my right eye and my left arm, only to fall to the depths of hell. Cutie, Kishia, cover me in the rest. Don't worry, your support will no doubt come to handy. It, yes. I'll do my best. Margus, Quad, you guys attack from the monster's back, and Matic. You'll attack from the monster's sides, yeah? You... No, never mind. I'll make sure to focus on taking down the monster. I guess we ain't got a choice. So, you finally have the itch to take up the sword once again. As the descendant of the legendary swordsman, Jed Hannibal, I vow that we will emerge victorious! I suppose we're done here, right? Yeah. The rate of their spawns have slowed down as well. This rate of theirs should be over soon. Ugh. This force! Ugh. It came from the village chief's house! Let's hurry, Luna! Yes! Alright, I mean, I can summon familiars. I could save. Yes. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Um. Familiars, familiars, familiars. I can't summon. Oh my god. Alright. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Pyrotechnic Plays. I am Pyrotechnic. It was a pleasure. Uh, I, I just wanted to get a little something out for today. I am off for my birthday vacation next week. So definitely expect uh, quite a few videos. I plan on pumping it out a lot. Getting back into the swing of things. Uh, and I'll of course try to make more videos when I have time. Uh, but thank you for coming to my corner of the internet. Uh, sorry for the cliffhanger. I guess you'll have to find out next week what happens. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you when I make another one.